like I've got the biggest hair today. <laughs> Hans Stanton, woo! Wow, today has gone super quick. Um, and for Monday, which is good. So, got that one out of the way. I'm gonna go and pick Isaac up from his mum's house because he's gonna come over for dinner tonight. And then, we are gonna go somewhere secret that I can't tell you about. I wanna tell you, but I can't tell you. <laughs> So I've just come into Norwich um, for a meeting this morning and um, I've had to park on the top of St Andrew's car park and I've never noticed the view before. I've kind of parked up here and gone and thought, oh that's nice, that's nice. But you can see the cathedral, you can see the castle, see Norwich, it's gorgeous. Let me show you, let me show you, let me show you. So from up here you've got views of the cathedral through there, which is gorgeous. And you pan round to the right and then you've got the castle. And the other drawings of parking on the roof, 50,000 steps to walk down. And of course, yes, I'm running late. So it's lunchtime now, and um, I'm just heading for a quick appointment at You and Your Skin to see Louise to get my eyebrows done. This is a much needed appointment. Um, so yeah, just nipping down my lunch break. I don't know if I've ever thought this through because it does mean I'm then gonna have nice red eyebrows for the rest of the day. I left my parking ticket in the car, so I've got to walk up six flights, of, no, 12 flights of steps to get the parking ticket, to take it back down, to bring it back up, to go down Stanton. Oh my goodness. Doors closing. This is the ticket to the reason why... Going down. Oh, I'm tired. I'm lifting because I'm not walking down those stairs again. So my brows have been done. A little bit red, but by the time I get to Stanton, I'll be fine. Right, six floors down, six floors back up again, then I can get back on with it. Oh. Right, let's try this again. Hans Stanton, woo! So for the second time today, I'm in St Andrew's car park, when I've got a friend with me. Um, uh, I was asked to me, 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 me. I was asked to go and review oh I thought we'd come up on level two to review uh, car parks Cosmo, car parks, Cosmo um, tonight but that hadn't quite worked out but then we got in the mood for Cosmo so we're going to Cosmo because I'm so hungry they might have pancakes as well being pancake day Ice cream. <laughs> oh my god. So full. And I can't believe he's walking out with an ice cream. Cheers, Cosmo. <laughs> so Scott has had starters, three main course, a dessert, and an ice cream. I feel absolutely gross from um, having eaten out last night and then just been sat at my laptop all day. I'm just, oh, I just feel bleh. Um, So I am gonna go for my run. It's a nice attractive look. I haven't got any makeup on today because um, I quite frankly haven't left the house or seen anybody. So there's a group of people at Scott's work um, that have got like a, a running club going just on text message. And we all set ourselves a challenge to do 32K last month, which we did, I did 33. So this month in March, I'm doing, I think my challenge is 40k. So being the 1st of March, I'm going to go for a jog now. It's 20 past 5 and it's still light, so need to get running around before it gets dark. Um, I look like some kind of weird American in this outfit. 
I bet Beyonce doesn't look like this when she puts this outfit on. Mm. Just trying to pack my bag because I'm going to London tomorrow. Um, I've just, I think I've decided what I'm going to wear. Standard black military jacket and then like a dark green like long sleeve dress underneath. I always figure that dresses would be a little bit more comfortable to be in all day than jeans for travelling. But the only thing is, it's not, um, I have to wear tights with it, which is fine, but I'm gonna go black tights because of the style of dress it is. Black tights okay for March? It's only just March. I haven't worn black tights for ages actually, so I don't know which ones are good and which ones are bad. So one, two, three, four, five, six, I'm going for one night and a pack six pairs of black tights, just in case. Some of them fit better around the waist, some of them like bobbly, some of them are thinner. So I don't know what I want, so I'll see how I feel. A, when I get up tomorrow, and B, when I get up on Friday to travel back. So I've got another like comfy dress to put on then. Um, but yes, going to London for work. Oh, nice little bit of lens flare situation going on there. So yeah, going to London for work. Um, getting picked up at quarter past seven. Oh, so early night tonight, I think. Back in the last year. Had an Hey crew, it's Friday evening now um, and I'm back from London. So I went down yesterday for work um, for a team meeting and yeah, boring worky stuff. I don't think I even spoke yesterday. I think I just took some footage of a train, maybe some beer. Um, yeah, that was it. So yesterday was just a whole bunch of meeting, a whole bunch of beer and a whole bunch of pizza. Um, which is great. <laughs> so now it's Friday, Friday evening, and I'm looking forward to just relaxing and chilling with the boys and catching up with them. Boys just gone out to go and get some dinner, so I'm going to pour a very large glass of wine and try and relax because it's the weekend, guys. started shopping at Marks and Spencer's and John Lewis and in a turn of events Scott has decided he's coming off of Facebook maybe he's not sure yet possibly and um, so we've got Isaac with us this weekend and we're now on our way to uh, the father-in-law's for his birthday party evening dinner thing do um, and then tomorrow is very exciting because Scott is flying an aeroplane yeah happy birthday <laughs> Gangster cat. She's purring, she's actually loving it. I've got the biggest hair today. And here we find big old Scott unhappy. Stupid crosswind. Stupid no weather. <laughs> no flight is happening. So he is not wearing his aviator glasses today. Which are polished. It's not actually sure what we're going to do today. Um, because we have a day to ourselves because Isaac is working. So we might go and look around IKEA. Exciting. Um, and I'm gonna cook a roast this afternoon, so I need to go and get the makings of that. We could pop and see mum and dad quick for a cup of tea this morning anyway. Scott? We could pop and see mum and dad quick anyway, I haven't seen dad for ages. 
It's a day for dry shampoo. May add a name to the existing street number without getting permission. Say again, over. My husband has never looked so manly looking at raw plugs. Raw plugs are raw plugs. Raw. So manly. She, no one else swines apart from me. I don't know, she's putting slow. I need to make a public apology, an apology to all of you lovely viewers. I'm sorry that this week's vlog has been total tripe. I'm very aware that I've just been taking little snaps of this, little snaps of that, and not really saying much or putting much together. Um, there's something going on which I can't tell you about. There's something really, really exciting that Scott and I are kind of going through and doing at the moment and just not quite ready to tell you guys and share that information but as soon as we can I will and kind of fill you in on the secret but it's very exciting um, but it is taking up a lot of our time and our thoughts and energy at the moment so as soon as I can share that with you and offload it is what I need to do uh, more than anything but yeah as soon as I can share that with you guys I will um, and hopefully things will calm down over the next week or so and I can get rid of these bags. Oh my God, I'm so tired. I'm not sleeping very well at the moment because my brain's just all over the place. Um, but also because the bloody cat keeps waking up at like six, half five, six o'clock and just scratching at the door to come in. Um, so yeah, if any of you have got any tips on how to stop your cat from waking up at stupid o'clock and waking you up, then please fill me in. Anyway, I've got to go because I need to go and prepare some veg for my roast dinner, which I seem to have got into the habit of cooking every Sunday. I'm such a good wifey. Hiya. Hey. How was work? Confident. The queen of the Yorkshire puddings strikes again. Oh, does she? Yeah, hey. she does. Oh my god, they are they're good, aren't they? <laughs> Can I go on Britain's Got Talent for my Yorkshire puddings? Isaac, come get it, it's ready. Man, I'm super full up now. That was an awesome roast dinner, even if I do say so myself. Thank you very much, Laura. So the boys and I are gonna go and slip into a food coma now and watch a movie, I think. Not sure what yet, but we'll put something easy watching on. Um, thank you for watching again, as always. And thank you for those that have subscribed. And if you haven't, please feel free to do so. And I shall see you again next week. Bye.